Ladies and gentlemen, PCW Ultra possessed. It is now time. This next contest, one fall, no time limit for the PCW Ultra Tag Team Championships. And all violence is legal. Oh shit. It's going down, Todd. War Beast back to defend their championships tonight. I, I think Rick Knox knows he's in for a long match. You can see the look on Rick Knox's face. There is tension in the room. It is palpable. As the first of the competitors comes out. Introducing first. Sin Bodhi making his PCW Ultra debut. What a bizarre, diabolical competitor he is. So unorthodox. And as and twisted and as dark as Sin Bodhi is, and his mind is twisted and dark, we know that at times he's been a fan favorite for many. Are we looking at the Niazak's uh, Chia Zamp? You in the know, ring, Sin Bodhi. You heard veteran ring announcer Dan Masters tell you there, Sin Bodhi is in the ring, ready for action. And Todd, this, this is a scary, scary dude. You got to fight fire with fire, and he is willing to take himself into very, very scary places. Should feel right at home in all violence is legal. Boy, this brings back memories for me, partner. The music of the Monster Abyss. One of the greatest stars in the history of Impact Wrestling and Impact Hall of Famer. His tag team partner is an Impact Wrestling Hall of Famer, the Monster Abyss. Greatest big man in Impact Wrestling history. Put into the Hall of Fame, bound for glory weekend, richly deserved when you think of the accolades of this man, a former NWA World Heavyweight Champion, defeated the icon Sting to win that title, had countless battles with the likes of Sting himself, the phenomenal AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Kurt Angle, Raven, Jeff Hardy. You want to talk about all violence is legal? How about Monsters Ball? How about, how about Full Metal Mayhem? Abyss, the monster, will be right at home in this environment. A surreal feeling in the PCW Ultratorium as the Hall of Famer Abyss stands in the center of our ring. And there you see the man who has made history in this business for so long. Abyss changing the landscape of PCW Ultra. And goosebumps are flying around the Ultratorium right now as the music of the Tag Team Champions, War Beast, blares through the Ultratorium. And, and the feeling in here has changed as the most violent men in our industry make their way out of the curtain and towards the ring. Have their defended opponents, the titles. The team of Fatu and Joseph, they are... War Beast! And whoa, Christian Cole, that is not Carlina Gore. Who is that? Who Accompanying that? War Beast to the ring. Who was that? That that woman was was vicious and beautiful all in the same in the same person. I I've never seen anything quite like that. Who is that woman? Here we go. There you see that far away gaze of the midnight sun. Joseph ready for battle. There we see again that vicious valet. Always have to have your head on a swivel when you're in there with War Beast, and even more so here. Think of the teams that War Beast has faced coming off of a huge victory. We want to talk about Impact Wrestling. Coming off of a big victory 
over Adam Thornstow and Luster, a Reno scum, and what a physical encounter that was. War Beast has battled the likes of OVE in the past as well. Countless teams have stepped up to the plate, even hardcore icons like the Sandman have been bested by War Beast. But look at this diabolical duo in the ring, the challenge here tonight, Sin and the Monster Abyss might just be able to play that game. War Beast is pro wrestling. War Beast bleeds pro wrestling. And there's a reason why the entire mood has changed and why every single person in the Ultratorium is standing on their feet right now as the legends Kazarni and Abyss stand across the ring from one of the great young wrestlers, Jacob Fatu, and his muse, the man known as the Midnight Sun, Joseph. I do not envy referee Rick Knox in this one. <laughs> Get out of there. Bell Here sounds we go. and we're set for action and it is gonna be a war. And for the Monster Abyss making his debut as in Sin, as is Sin for Abyss, winning championship gold has been his business. Business has been very good. A Grand Slam champion in Impact Wrestling and Abyss, the heaviest man to ever hold the X Division title. Around here, the only thing that matters are PCW Ultra Championships. And Joseph and Fatu, along with Brody King and the Freebird Rule, have been PCW Ultra Tag Team Champions for like 34 years. I since 1984. They've been unstoppable since winning those titles. And again, anything goes, and I'm really surprised that the match is in the ring at this moment. Little yeah. meeting of the minds, and, and you got to wonder, what kind of continuity are we going to see between Sin and Abyss? Look at this, double monkey flip! Got some good elevation there on Joseph. Sin, so very unorthodox, he will attack you from all angles. Look at this. Drops down with the senton, watch out for the big Samoan. Uh-oh, headbutt! Friendly fire, but nothing friendly about that, Christian. And, and you got to think after that that the Midnight Sun might set here. We might, th they might win this thing in record time. It could be possible. I mean, Midnight Sun is down and now taking chair shots from the Hall of Famer Abyss. As Abyss stands above a prone Joseph who's used to being on that soapbox, you know, preaching his ways and talking about the the light and the darkness and all these weird shit that he talks about and instead now just laying on the canvas getting beaten by a Hall of Famer. War Beast at one time under the tutelage and there you see it, that classic pose and the monster picking up the pace here, gonna drop all that, no! Oh my God, brilliant! All that body weight down but drop little it something happened on the way to the form. Now at one point, Christian Cole, War Beast under the tutelage of Kevin Sullivan, but on the flip side, Abyss under the tutelage of James Mitchell for a long time. Who do you give the edge there? Did you just elbow me? Is that what happened right now? Just trying to make a point. Yeah, but you elbowed me while you were making your point. All I, violence is legal. I guess that's a good point. Don't touch me, Todd. You know what, Christian? Abyss, you might think, wouldn't really play well with others, but he does have tag team championship history. He held the uh, tag team titles in Impact Wrestling with the likes of AJ Styles and again with Decay. That's exactly right. Now you're watching is Sin Bodhi and Jacob Fatu going one on one in the center of the ring. What, what an incredible singles match this would be. As the action and violence is spilling on the outside, we don't have a shot right now, but the fans reacting to some crazy brawling which is happening in the outside as Fatu punishes Sin Bodhi in the ring. Good luck to our official and good luck to our production crew because you got to keep up with everything going on and we see it now, Joseph and Abyss battling on the outside. Yeah, Joseph and, and Abyss now. Joseph, not a Hall of Famer yet, but an NWA champion in his own right and a guy who can brawl with the best of them in this stage of his career and he's going at it with a Hall of Famer and they're brawling into the merch tables. As you look into the ring now, Sin Bodhi and Jacob Fatu crossing paths in a really precarious position. Those bowling ball-like headbutts by Fatu, but now boxing the ears is Sin Bodhi. Both guys in a precarious position. Oh man, Sin dropped him straight down from 12 to six on the clock. And now back to our regularly scheduled carnage on the outside of a War Beast match. It's incredibly difficult to keep up with what's going on out here. As you see the damage that table took, 
bent and bowed now as Abyss charging Joseph with that trash can, but Joseph able to cut him off. And man, you can hear the thud from that trash can off the head and just the disrespect of having trash rain all over you. It's not deserving of a Hall of Famer quite all, like Abyss. All four men on the outside now, Christian, this more reminiscent of an all violence is legal atmosphere. Yeah, this is what we've grown to know and love from War Beast. This is why the fans of Wilmington continue to come out and buy tickets to see these brawls spill out right in front of them. You can almost smell it, how close these guys are getting. And if you're not here, you need to join us as you see the sold out crowd here at the PCW Ultratorium. Sea of humanity. And now you've got Joseph going to battle with the Hall of Famer and Jacob Fatu hitting hard and heavy right there in the first row and Abyss out there near uh, near the, the concession stands. Every seat is gonna be a front row seat in this one, you gotta believe. And thus far, you gotta admit, Christian, the challengers sin in Abyss hanging with War Beast Impressive. on their home turf. Yeah, especially because I, on my record, I've not seen Sin, Sin Bodhi and Abyss tag before. So being able to have a really, I can't pretend to lie to you and act like it's a tag team cohesion. They're just individually dominating War Beast right now in two brawls that are happening around the arena. I don't know if anybody could quite hang with Joseph and Fatu when it comes to in-ring wrestling and tag team cohesion, but uh, this is just a ballroom fight now. Absolutely is, but at some point, and, and Joseph had a cheese grater. No, no, no. Looking to make some quesadillas. Oh my God! And the cheese grater, and he rips it right up. Oh my goodness. And you can only imagine what it would feel like to just nudge those nether regions, much less to have a cheese grater scrape. Gonna shred a couple uh, heads of, of lettuce there. As you now look, at Abyss who needs a water break. I mean, this is, this is carnage here in Wilmington. And the monster Abyss, he, he's like an eyewash here. I don't know what caught him. There, there could have been some sort of foreign element in the eyes of Abyss, although we didn't catch it. And, and Todd, if you, if you look at Abyss, he looks messed up here. He can't see. If you can't see, you can't fight. And Abyss right now, he might be out of this match. There's something in his eyes. Well, we talk about I got the cheese grater. You can see well enough to do that. Oh, my goodness. Right on the head of the Midnight Sun. And he just rapidly scraped that cheese grater forward on the head of the Midnight Sun. And the speed in which he ran that across the skin cells of Joseph have Time. busted him open. There you see the effects, Christian Cole, the crimson mask all over the midnight sun. But Jacob Fatu. And Todd, this is getting close to the booth, bud. Hey, better be careful. We Fat gotta be careful here. Fatu's got a chair. And that does not bode well for anybody. Now a staple gun. Staple gun to the midnight sun. And, and a bite from the Samoan destroyer on the head. Leave of Sin Bodhi, and, and we have lost all control. You can see re new referees are joining the action from the outside, trying to gain control. We want to make sure we protect the fans here. Oh no one gets my goodness, look hit out with a here. Chair. And wh what's that, Todd? Christian Cole, it looks to me like those are tacks, and that has been a weapon of choice throughout the Hall of Fame career of the Monster Abyss. They talked about those Monsters ball matches with the likes of, of Raven in the past. Rhino Jeff Hardy, and now the tax coming into play, but battling back right now as if his life depends on it, and it might, is one half of the tag team champions. He's got the monster off balance. He's rocking, he's reeling, but he won't go down. The Midnight Sun and the Abyss are going right at it, right near those tax. and how dangerous is that bed of thumbtacks? Uh -oh. He's got him in the goozle here. He's goozled him. Oh, shit! Choke slam right under the tax. Joseph's going to take home a lot of metal, Christian Cole, but it might not be the tag team titles. Joseph is entire back covered in tax. You have to imagine you could see in the backside of the screen there as now 
Whoa. And I hadn't even thought of this. As one of the great rising stars of this industry, Jacob Fatu stands across the ring and face to face from Abyss. Past, present, future all combined here. The Monster Abyss, the Hall of Famer. And somebody that was born and bred into this sport. Think of the family lineage of Fatu. Is this a dream match or is this a nightmare fuel oh, here, I'd, Christian? I'd pay my next PCW paycheck to see these guys go one-on-one. -on -one. With Fatu having no shoes, and his, he chooses to wrestle with no shoes, no socks, and the tacks everywhere. It's a dangerous area for Fatu, but he seems to be winning the fight so far. Fatu at times seems absolutely impervious to pain and proving it here and down the Hall of Famer. And did we ever think we'd see this? Fatu versus Abyss and Fatu getting the better of the Hall of Famer. Abyss is still at times clutching his eyes, Christian. I would love to know. Look out, black hole slam! Jesus! Might have caught some of those tacks as well. Certainly had to, Todd. It was only inches away from that huge pile. Think of the legends that Abyss has put away over the years with that black hole slam. Oh, oh fire shit! Ball. Well, if his eyes were messed up before, they certainly are now. Hellfire! What was that? It was a flame coming from the hands of Joseph. and But Sin Bodhi right on top of it to defend his partner. Oh, blatant kick to the... To as, the as, le geez, as legal as a wrist lock. And a pumpkin now. <laughs> Q Ichabod Crane, we got the headless horseman. And that pumpkin went flying off the head of Sin Bodhi. Look at Fatu fly! Out of nowhere, Jacob Fatu in for the cover. And that's it! Ladies and gentlemen, your winners, and still, PCW Ultra Tag Team Champions, the team of Fatu and Joseph War Beast. In the immortal, immortal words of Pinhead, Pain is pleasure, and that's exactly what it was here tonight at Possessed Christian Cole. What a brutal ballet we witnessed between the Hall of Famer Abyss and Sin, who certainly were up to the task. But War Beast finds a way and knocks off two more hardcore icons in the process. You talk about War Beast being tag team champions forever. You might not be far off the mark, my friend. Tonight we saw future and present legends in the ring square off for the PCW Ultra Tag Team Championships. And tonight, War Beast yet again stands victorious. Making a statement. What a victory. And if a diabolical duo, the likes of Sin and a Hall of Famer, a guy who's been a world champion, a world tag team champion. He has beaten the very best in the business. If they can't get it done, who in the hell can?